Okay, here we go. We have Cloud vs. Common and Squirtle. That full Warrior Losers is 2 out of 3 only. Uh, both of these players got upset in winners. Cloud vs. Lost, and Winner's Quarter specifically, Cloud vs. Lost to um, Magnetic. And that full lost to their dad. So it'll be interesting to see how these two play. Let me see their set count. I know they don't get to play super often. Wow, their set count's even. Their set count currently 4 to 3, that full favor. Yeah, which doesn't really mean anything. I think most recently, uh, Cloud's been winning a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, though. Yeah, these two players are very equal in skill level. Both have the capability to be really crazy players, but... Let's see. Uh, Cloudverse is going to have some matchup knowledge from uh, Cutnet back when he lived in Tucson. He runs into the GOAT. Stepping up. Ooh, Neon steps up to common, Kate. What's up, HF Neon? How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. So, what do you think about this matchup? You said you were thinking about picking up Squirtle. So, I'm sure you've put in the thought in his matchups. Uh, yeah, not so much for this. I honestly think Wolf Warrior is fine. Right. Uh, but, I mean, I think Squirtle has an advantage. Like, I think, really? Yeah. I think uh, the big reason is that he has projectiles, and Wario does not. And Squirtle can stay, like, all of his projectiles, like, Bubble, which is kind of a projectile. <laughs> kind of not, but it really is. It's a weird It's, thing. it's like disjointed. Yeah. Anyways, disjointed enough. But like, Squirtle can outspace Wario. And I think Squirtle is also really good at comboing Wario to death. Uh, same thing for Wario against Squirtle. Because Squirtle's light, he'll die easily. But I think I think Squirtle wins neutral. I think a lot of characters die easily against Wario. Because Wario honestly has a lot of trouble approaching. Like, he has to go for, like, mix-ups with, like, bite versus other things. But you can just, like, yeah, you can roll or spot dodge and get out of it anyways. I also think Squirtle has a big advantage in edge guarding as well. So, Why? Really? Uh, yeah, just because he can go further off stage safely. Uh, Back air just sort of cleans out. Yeah, exactly. You know, like... It's harder for Wario to edgeguard Squirtle, right? Like, Uppy is just inherently really hard to edgeguard. Like, Wario can get above and, like, get down there, but that's really unsafe because you die if you miss. So there are just, like, pretty much all the scenarios. Squirtle has a slight edge. Like, he has an edge in neutral, edge in the punish game, including combos and edgeguarding. I think Water Gun is still really underrated. Burnsy's been lamenting this since, like, 3.02. Oh, Water Gun is underrated. It's true, though. But I think Cloud makes good use of it. That is the face of a man who has deep. <laughs> a man who regrets one bad C stick down. I wouldn't know. I've never SD'd, so I don't know what the feeling is oh, yeah. like. You have no idea, right? <laughs> well, you're a robot. You don't feel emotion when you SD. Yeah, that's true. Do you think we're going Ike? Uh, maybe. It's probably a better matchup. Still, think probably, so? still pretty bad. You really think Actually, Ike it might not be better. It might be just as bad. Wario! Okay. Like, my opinions of Squirtle have changed dramatically Christian, in the last... What was the score? Week or so. so what happened when you changed your opinions on that? Oh, I was just, like, playing against Cloud. And realizing how good a lot of stuff is. Oh, yeah. Uh, last Your game, game T-13. Yeah. He also came over for friendlies. Oh, nice. Hold up. You can see, like, that's a backer spot. Ash, just drop off back air. Wario dies. Oh, no, I'm not coming. Or neutral air. Whatever you want to do. He's probably going to die. And Ooh, anyways, yeah. that was clean. That's another thing. That like, was super clean. Squirtle oh, kills off the top really well. Like, you can just carry carry Wario up, and Wario is so floaty, he'll die pretty soon. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny. Before he got that up, I was going to talk about, like, that ledge-canceled uh, Aqua Rest. And then he did that in the up, like, damn. I think down air might be better in some of these spots, like on that platform. Because, uh, like, shielding down air is not so great. You can just land behind them, and Wario doesn't have a lot of options. Like, shield grab will work. You can, like, bear out of shield, but that's pretty slow. You can definitely use shield in time or do something else. Okay. Grab arm. He does have a wall too, so Squirtle is in danger because he's so light. But this is sort of what I'm talking about. Like, Squirtle, his movement is also better. That's, like, a huge part of it. 
That's a reason why I used to think he was like top 10. Uh, back in 3.2, he was better. But uh, like his movement is so good, it just is very hard for a character with such good movement to be bad. And I think a lot of people have really suboptimal movement where they're, they overcommit to like side B and shell slings and even wave dashes. Uh, but you can really like wave dash back, like you can fake approaches, wave dash back, use projectiles to mix up between approaches and retreating from the uh, That was another spot, I just I'll play it. Another spot where he cut it back. <laughs> or new. Oh. Alright, that is uh, good to see you. Very unfortunate right there. <laughs> One thing I've been pointing out to Cloud is that I think he needs to go for up smash a little more. Uh, I think he might underestimate like, how strong it is. And you can also do like the hydroplane up smash. So you can get people when they're vulnerable, like when they're trying to drift back. You can stay well out of their range and then just go for up smash. Or you can combo in two. And it hits through platforms really far. So there are lots of opportunities to land it and just get a kill. <coughs> the hitboxes are also giant. Like if you do the hydroplane up smash, like your hitboxes, the area that they cover is right. like a giant rectangle. Yeah. It's just like moving across it's the just stage. Just sliding around. This giant Squirtle has amazing air movement. I know Wario has great air movement as well, but so does Squirtle. He doesn't have such good aerial drift, but his ability to stay out of range and then quickly approach in the air. Like, he's like, he can go farther than Falcon in a shorter amount of time off of a jump in a lot of situations. Like, as long as he has the momentum set up right. I know Wario is good though. But I think that's why Squirtle does well against Wario, because he's one of the characters that actually has, you know, similarly good air movement. Is it free as fuck for Wario? Have you played many good Squirtles? I don't think so, because there, there aren't really any. He beat, um, he beat Cloud last year at Rewired, but Cloud was Yeah, Cloud was Squirtle. so bad that guy. Yeah. I don't imagine it's, like, terrible for Wario or anything, but I just think Squirtle has a fine time with the matchup, if you play it correctly. Like that? Well, For example, that, that was anchor. not quite what he needs, because that was like a stage spike. So he could have just tagged him. Like the best I thing... did the back air stage spike, that's weird. Uh, it? War yeah, Wario was just too far in. So reverse it. Alright, that was not so great. I think he needed to stay closer to the ledge. But I guess it worked out. He's getting better, Kyle. Okay, that was nice. It's an and manages to grab ledge again. I don't really think it's so great to like just hang out off stage though. Alright, this could be a combo. Yep, see. Okay. I think if he didn't fast fall, he could have done that. Ooh, wow, ballsy. It's challenging to set you. Yeah, well, back air covers a lot. Sure, sure, like, but it's, you make one small mistake and that's your start. You know, it's, it's just good to see him come. That is true. But I think, you know, as long as they're like on the same horizontal level, back air will just stop it. Like it stays out for long enough and it's really big. There's not much way for Wario side B to get through the back air. I think another thing Cloud doesn't use enough is up air. Especially up air into like up B. Or even aqua rest if you can hit that. But up air is strong. Well, that was an awful lot. See like right, right there, I think up smash could have been good. There dodge might have still dodged, but I'm not sure. You think it would have killed at 115? Oh yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like about as strong as Fox is on Smash. Maybe stronger now that it's there. Like Squirtle has one of the strongest on Smashes. It's not like Lucas or Game & Watch tier, but it's like in the tier below that. That was another spot. I think you could just drop off back air. But that works too. Good to see patient play. That lucky number 47 coming into play. Do you believe in magic numbers? Do you see that magic number and get more confident? 47? Yeah, Only 69 is true. Okay. Everything else is not true. False believer? Yeah. 69 is real, though. There's a lot of evidence showing that it's real. Also, Squirtle's B reverses are pretty insane. 
That's one of the things that gives him such good aerial movement because he can, like, be reverse water gun and just, like, you know, he can approach or be reverse and he ends up in two very different spots and it covers different right. options the opponent has. So if they try to, like, anticipate an approach and see you retreat, you can still just hit them with the projectile. Oh, okay. great, great spacing. And he still has that left. I'm sure Deadpool was tempted to go for a down air for that mid guard, but uh, it didn't. It's too it's, risky. Yeah, it's good to not play too risky, especially when you've been behind the whole set. Ooh. That was a DI mix up because he's okay, not been down for the entire set. Time. I don't know that he needed that one even this well. But yeah, whenever Wario is uh, like below you off stage, he can usually get it back. Or a neutral or sometimes it's better, depending on where he is. That's the other thing, like, a lot of Squirrel's moves do not have very much end lag, which makes him really good at edge guarding, because he can, like, do two moves right in a row, or do move, like, really low, but then jump immediately after it after get that. Alright, very close to the last stock here, 1-1. One, one. Is this actually Loser's 8? Yeah. So it's just a... Yeah, this is it. It's the last stock. How do the combo here? Okay. Yeah, and w Wario not having lost is very important. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Wario went for a bite. That would have that would have been very dangerous. Uh, like he would have just gone for the. I'm pretty sure it's down. Throw. Yeah, it's definitely down throw into a wall. Okay. That's another spot. I think up smash would have gotten. Like, yeah. Ooh. There we go. So he does it. Maybe he was saving it for when it's least expected. 